times. Time to talk uh, some healthy food choices for our young people. Leanne's back. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are good you? to see you, Leanne. Uh, Phillips you. and uh, Webb is here. You're the founder of uh, Sprout Right, I which am. is your website. That's right. Uh, but we're featuring another website today that could really help people. It's so, this is such an important topic and quite dear to my heart. Um, almost a third of Canadian children are either overweight or obese, and that's it's tremendously sad and quite a staggering number. And uh, no pun intended, a growing problem. It really, it really is. So, um, I mean, parents have, can have a daily battle when it comes to feeding their kids, introducing them to healthy foods, healthy snacks. Mm -hmm. So, TFAL have just come up with a fantastic new campaign. It's yes. part of their nutritious and delicious um, division. It's called the Healthy. Healthy Cooking for Healthy Kids campaign. Just like that. It's an online resource for parents. You've got tools, advice, you've got forums, recipes, mm -hmm. all the support that you need. Even an appliance that can help well, you. Well, they're, they're bringing in innovative new appliances to really help yeah. parents to make um, fantastic foods. We're going to use this later? We're going to use this later. Okay. We're, going to, we're going to make some really delicious foods. What is, Leanne, what, what problems are we facing now? Because obviously for, at some point in their lives, kids get an idea that healthy stuff isn't tasty, it isn't good, and so, for some reason yes. that gets into our heads and it sticks. It does. It's almost like once they start eating more junk food, then they have a craving for it. And as parents, we have to inject those vegetables in there. We have to maybe hide them, let's say. Yeah. You can use something like sweet potato. You can make, um, make up some sweet potato, bring out your ice cube trays like you used to do when they right. were a baby, and hide that into certain, ve certain foods. It's sad that we have to trick the kids into eating healthy, well, but is, you know what, if that's what it takes. I would rather that they understood. So mm. let's say with pancakes for breakfast, grate in some carrot instead of just piling on maple syrup and butter and all of those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Throw in some blueberries or here's some applesauce. Put in some applesauce. That's a fantastic way. It is. And start to teach them and talk to them about why are you doing this. Not only about why should they eat what they, their bodies need to give them energy, but this is one of the resources that um, you can get on the nutritious-delicious.com. Uh, dot com or sorry dot ca dot website CA, yeah. this is a plate that you can put under put on the table so mm -hmm. you can start the conversation start discussing how much of their plate needs to be fruits and vegetables grains and proteins yeah and it really honestly i believe is so much in the education but sometimes parents struggle they don't necessarily know how to feed or eat themselves i know so how am i going to how am i going to overcome this for my yeah. kids we have to lead by example there's no question we, about we it. we really really do but with these tips and tools and advice and support from other parents and, and comments about recipes and how it worked and what the parents did, it really is the support that I think parents need. In your estimation, how much is are things like portion control part of this whole process? Because I, that's I one think, thing I know yeah. that uh, I as an adult struggle yeah. with and yeah. uh, you know always have struggled with. Yeah. Uh, you're overeating and you don't really consider it overeating. That's right. I think um, in, in my consultations, I counsel people to just take 15% off your plate yeah. or just leave a little bit on your plate each time, you'd be surprised how you're not hungry even though you've left a little bit on your plate. Yeah. But then it also comes down to the quality of the food on your plate. Yeah. And I also noticed uh, another trick that helps me, and I'm sure it helps a lot of people who, who kind of do, do the same thing and feel the same way. If you eat slower, yes. take chew. the time chew. Uh, to enjoy your food and chew yeah. it more and, yeah. and just slow down. Yeah. You I eat less I, and, yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's yeah. better for you. I teach my kid, your stomach does not have teeth. Yeah. They have a little giggle, but that does actually get them to chew more. Mm. You know, if I see them sort of putting the food in their mouth, three chews and down it goes. Yeah. Th there's a hormonal aspect to eating. Yeah. So once you chew, your stomach gets the message that, hey, I'm full, and then it sends it up to the brain and says, stop eating. Yeah. By that time, you may have eaten two plates. To slow it down. That's a really good. That's a really good tip. Leanne's going to be back to uh, put together uh, some nutritious food for us using this uh, beautiful new uh, T fowl machine right here. It's We're going to find out the, more. The ActiFry. It's fantastic. The ActiFry. Yeah, it's I've fantastic. I've had great fun with it. Yeah. yeah listen, the series. Uh, the answer to the question is, where do the kids learn it? They learn it from us. So it's about time. We, you know, yeah. we're starting to yeah. learn how to teach. That's them, right. So. And here's the support for you. Exactly. All right. Uh, Nutritious-delicious.ca, which is very difficult. It's a, it's a bit hard to get your lips yeah. around, isn't it? Leanne will be back in just a few minutes. Speaking of Leanne, Leanne Lang will be here with today's The Day and much more coming your way. We'll be right This hour.